Hello everybody, uh, this is Joshua Phillips for Ohio Valley Chess. This is obviously not a picture of a chessboard. And uh, this video is a little bit low quality. I just realized I had found this game at Goodwill. Terrace, as seen in Star Trek The Next Generation. And I had bought it a while ago, and looking at it I realized there's very little content about this game online. It was never that popular. If you Google, like, Space Checkers, Star Trek, you might be able to find it. Um, so just a very short discussion of the rules. The box itself and the rules actually encourages variations using this um, format. So we have a board, and I'll note this bottom right corner and top right corner, those are the highest levels, and they step down in terraces. Here at the center, these two squares are one elevation, and these two squares an elevation. I'm not sure how to give you the sense of the depth there. Now, I've set up for what's called the short game on the box, just to explain the basic rules. The idea is, when it's your turn, you have these different colored pieces. Note here that this is a large piece. There's four different size pieces, which I'm going to call four, three, two, and one. You have one extra large, wait, one, four, two, threes, two, twos, and one, one. Um, the boxes, because you have some options on how you set up, have, I believe, four of the smallest pieces. Know that this one and the other red one in the corner have a T on them. That is the equivalent of them being the king in chess, or the, the piece that you lose if you lose it. So the goal in Terrace is, as I just said, either to capture the opponent's T piece, or, and it varies depending on your setup, a secondary goal involving getting the T-piece that is actually just called the T-piece to some designated spot. So in this short game it's saying if you get the T-piece to this corner, or if the reddish oranges player were to get their T-piece to sorry, this corner, they would now the movement... And I haven't gotten to play this, so I can't say much about strategy, but the movement rules are when it's your turn, you, you can pick one of your pieces. You can slide it to anywhere on the same elevation, except notably you cannot cross the diagonal in the center. But So this piece could move to any of the other five squares. And that's even true if another one of my pieces was here. You're allowed to jump your own pieces without eating them. Secondly, when you're moving up a terrace, so let's say we have my medium pieces here, you can move either straight up or you can move up and one to the side, so a diagonal up movement. And when you're moving down, you can only move straight down. So this piece here could only move straight down to here. It could not go here. And of course, the, the important thing is that, hmm, pieces, and you are allowed to capture your own pieces in this game, or at least in the default rules that it's saying here, is that when you have a piece, and there is a piece of a smaller size, and again, it can be your own piece as well, but a piece of either size, when it's your move, you can say, I'm moving down, and I eat your piece. And then you subtly take it off the board, because you can keep capturing even when they have something in their stomach, as it were. So... That's the basic rules to the game. I know this is a very low quality video shot from an awkward angle with not too much depth, but I just realized there aren't many people that have mentioned this game, that have discussed it. I'm going to end the video just like sort of filming the box with the rules on it because you could absolutely play this on your own relatively easily. My biggest critique would be that I haven't played the game, so I don't know how it plays out. I wish the different size pieces had been numbered somehow besides the uh, the terrace piece. So I wish this said, you know, A on it, and it said B to indicate which is bigger, or something like that. But here's just the back of the rules board for reference for anybody. 
And again, it's very amusing how this game is branded for Star Trek quite a lot. I believe I explained everything correctly. And by the way, um, I didn't film it for this. There are two additional colored pieces in the box for playing three or four player Terrace. But again, want to keep it simple. If there's any demand, I'll talk more about this game. So thank you very much and have a nice day, everyone.